uh, we're in the winner's circle here with a couple of uh, Chicago uh, mainstays. They may not be uh, household names uh, to the people around the country, but here in, uh, in, in uh, Illinois racing, uh, they're well known and uh, they always uh, have a nice stable of horses and every year there's a couple nice ones. Uh, all three have uh, horses uh, in tonight's uh, $40,000 violet stake. And uh, uh, to my far right here is Elogio Baccio, who will be training uh, D.D. Sage. In the middle is Steve Searle, um, who's training in Pretty Place, and Mike Schulfer with Fox Valley Absolute. Uh, Elogio, let's talk with you a little bit. Uh, D.D. Sage, um, you know, she's been a consistent moneymaker. She's had a good week. Uh, you've got the rail. What do you think about uh, tonight's chances? Oh, I think she'll be okay. It's the first time she raced here where she got the rail. And... Uh, Hope we got to have a little luck and hope everything goes good. Good enough. And, and, and you, Steve, you've got the, sort of the younger filly in this race. There's a lot of class horses, and your filly's very consistent as well. But tell us a little bit about, uh, about her and why you decided to drop her in the box for this one. Well, when we bought her this spring, she had won like four or five in a row at Maywood. And I know it was a lot cheaper races, but I know she can get around a half-mile track, and she just needs a little faster pace, and she closes 27, 28 seconds every week, so I think she's got a very good shot. Good, good, good. And Mike, you've got uh, a Fox Valley Absolute, uh, uh, an incredibly consistent uh, uh, mare, uh, closing in on $300,000 in earnings. Uh, I, I just noticed she was, uh, she hits the board 60% of the time. Uh, you know, you, 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 she's always live. Uh, do you like her chances? Well, yeah, I like her chances, but it's, everything's going to depend on how the race goes. I mean, we're going to have to get out of there and be making a statement out of the gate, and we're going to have to, well, eh, maybe not, but we're going to have to try from there, do whatever we can do to, you know, get what we can get. That's what the race is about. All right. Um, uh, now, she doesn't race a whole lot in the half. Uh, do you uh, think she's going to get along on the half uh, uh, tonight okay? I'm hoping so. She has in the past. She's won three races here, and... and uh, She's raced bad here, too, so we'll just see what tonight brings for her. That's all we can do. Uh, Steve, I wanted to ask you, you know, you've done so much driving here uh, in Illinois yourself. Uh, recently, you've uh, turned the lines over a little bit more. Uh, you got Dean McGee in the bike tonight. Um, uh, will you have a conversation with Dean before the race, or are you going to just let him handle it? I'm just going to let him handle it. You know, he's, he's very professional. His brother's probably the greatest Illinois driver here ever, so... How can you go wrong with a McGee? That's right. And, uh, and Elogia, um, you know, you've got the rail tonight again. You said you were live. Um, do you assume you're going to be out there pretty quickly looking uh, for an early spot in this uh, big field? I hope so. I'd like to see her get out, you know, one, two, three. That'll be good. And the rest uh, takes a little luck. Well, I, uh, I wish you all good luck tonight. Uh, you're all going to be kind of long shots. The favorites are going to be on the outside. But on a half-mile track, I'll take the inside uh, any day. So good luck to all of you. Good luck to all the fans tonight. And uh, we'll catch up soon. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony Simone of the Illinois Harness Sportsmen's Association. James Horvath, Jr., trained by James Horvath, Jr., John DeLong in the driver's seat. First race, first half of the Daily Double coming up. Special happy birthday wishes go out to Gus Siciliano. Happy birthday to Gus Siciliano.